Hey everyone, Cody here again with Home Video Hangouts. Today I have a big haul video to share with you that I'm very excited about. I recently found an ad on Facebook Marketplace where someone was selling off a large part of their Blu-ray and DVD collection and um, I was surprised to see they were selling their uh, Blu-rays for only one dollar and then um, I was able to talk them into selling me some of their DVDs that I wanted for 50 cents each. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'll even show you a uh, sealed 4K uh, slipcover uh, Blu-ray that I got for a dollar as well. So very excited to share this. I have quite a few movies to go through, but uh, let's jump right into it. So first of all, starting with some of the DVDs I have here. <clears throat> first of all, I picked up um, Freeway. This one has uh, Reith Witherspoon and uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Haven't seen this movie yet, but it looked interesting. Uh, most of the DVDs I picked up, I believe, are not available on a higher format like Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray, so I'm picking them up this way. Um, next we have Penelope. This one has a slipcover, and I saw this one. You can get it on a higher format, um, but it can be kind of hard to find or expensive, so I decided to pick it up on DVD first. And I have Say It Isn't So. Haven't seen this one yet. Look like a decent romantic comedy type movie. Then we have uh, The Skulls. So this one has Paul Walker, um, big Paul Walker fan from the Fast and Furious franchise. So uh, I've been wanting to see more of his movies. So it uh, looks like an interesting thriller type movie to watch. Next, we have uh, Baby Boy with Tyrese Gibson. Um, looking forward to checking that one out. Looks like it has Snoop Dogg as well. Um, so I'll be checking that one out pretty soon. Then I picked up uh, Death to the Supermodels. This one looked like uh, a comedy that I don't think is available on the higher format as well. Um, so probably end up watching that one shortly as well. Um, Moving on, I have uh, Dirty Shame uh, with Johnny Knoxville. Uh, this is an interesting one because uh, this is the NC-17 one. So uh, this one's a little bit harder to find, a little more valuable uh, with that rating. There's another rated R version uh, that's a little bit easier to find that has a lot of censorship. Um, but this is apparently the more desirable one. Um, this one I may even end up reselling or something like that. Um, but wanted to pick this one up because of uh, how valuable um, it is compared to a lot of other DVDs. Next, I picked up uh, Family Guy, Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story. Um, I occasionally like watching episodes of Family Guy, so I thought this might be interesting to watch. Um, so I'll be checking that one out. Next, we have uh, Red Eye, which I know this one did come out on uh, Blu-ray or maybe even a 4K Blu-ray. Um, but this is one where I wanted to kind of check it out on DVD first and uh, see if I want to get it on a uh, higher format. We have uh, Cube 2 Hypercube. I wasn't familiar with this one at all. Um, looks like kind of a horror thriller movie. Um, so it be checking that one out to see if it's uh, something I'm interested in finding the other movie in the series. All right, and then this one uh, looks like more of a kind of like an indie drama or something like that called Full Grown Men. Um, so I've never heard of this one before. Um, looks like a little bit more of a lower budget indie type movie, um, but see if it's any good. Next, uh, we have Vanishing Point. Um, this one, another one I haven't heard of, um, seems like kind of a cult classic type movie. Um, seems like this one wasn't available on a higher format as well, uh, but I love any kind of like car, car focused or car chase movies. Those are always fun to watch. Uh, another Paul Walker movie up next, uh, Running Scared. Um, happy to add this one to my collection. Um, I know that Paul Walker is in a good amount of action movies, so this is one I wanted to add into that. This one looks like more of a low budget kind of B-movie horror movie, uh, Restricted Area. Um, haven't heard of this one at all, but the premise looked interesting. Um, 
about you know a group of friends going in the wilderness and discovering a cult so that'll be interesting to check out next we have this movie uh neighbor i think this one is uh, i haven't seen this one uh out in the wild before any of the stores they go to so um thought i'd check it out on uh dvd looks like it was in some film festivals Then we have more of a classic movie, classic Robin Williams movie, Jack. Um, so, you know, Robin Williams is a great actor and um, wanted to kind of watch more of his movies. I love some of his more modern movies like RV. Um, and yeah, should be a good one to check out. Good family movie. Uh, this was a movie I've been looking for for a while that I think uh, kind of hard to find. Uh, Rob Schneider's Hot Chick. I uh, know it's a very funny movie. Um, I don't think I've ever actually seen it, but it was one I wanted to pick up somewhere. Um, so finally found one in good condition. I've seen them in stores before, and usually the discs are very scratched up, um, but this is a good copy of it. Uh, this this guy bought this whole haul from, kept uh, good care of all of his discs. That's great. Um, then I decided to give this one a chance. Uh, it's Ernest. It's a series that I've never um, checked out before, but um, have heard some good things about, so... Um, that might be interesting to take a look at. Next, I have a copy of uh, Dirty Love. Um, this one looks like it might have been like a blockbuster case or something like that. Um, seemed like it would be a entertaining kind of rom-com or something like that um, with Jenny McCarthy. So check that one out. Uh, this is a, looks like a horror movie with Ice-T. Um, that just kind of looked interesting, uh, Leprechaun in the Hood. I love uh, just kind of looking at random movies like this. Um, haven't really heard of this one. I think, I know there's some other Leprechaun movies. I don't know if this is related or not, um, but that'll be an interesting one to check out too. Um, next we have a movie called Deceived. Looks like a thriller. Um, always like any kind of uh, thriller action type movies. Um, so that was the last of the DVDs I picked up. All of those were 50 cents each. Next, I move on to the Blu-rays I picked up for $1 each. Uh, this one is The Cell 2. Uh, not familiar with this series at all, but always happy to pick up a horror movie for a deal like that. Uh, this one here, Apparition Hill. Um, this one... Looks like kind of an indie movie. I picked it up just because I never heard of it. Um, I always like kind of giving a chance to movies that I don't really know anything about, um, seeing what they're like. Here's one um, called Dark City. Looks like kind of a sci-fi type movie. Um, this one has Kiefer Sutherland as well. Um, so that'll be another one I'll check out soon. Then we have a movie with uh, Morgan Freeman, Hard Rain. Um, always trying to add more of Morgan Freeman's movies to my collection as well. Um, be a good one to add to my action shelf. Next we have uh, Inside Man with uh, Jodie Foster and Denzel Washington. Um, haven't seen this one yet either, um, but it looks like it'd be a good uh, Blu-ray release. Okay, and then uh, next we have an Al Pacino uh, movie, The Pirates of Somalia. Um, I think I've heard of this one before, but never had a chance to watch it. So um, probably be watching that one soon as well. Now here's another one that I've been curious about for a while. Um, it is uh, Grindhouse, the Blu-ray double feature. So, um, you know, I had unfortunately haven't seen too many of the Tarantino movies yet, but um, this was a double feature that I definitely wanted to pick up. Um, you can see it has two separate discs in there. Um, I've heard good things about these movies, and um, it's a great, uh, great double pack. So, I'll be watching that soon. <clears throat> Here's a movie that I have seen before that I enjoy, but it's been quite a few years uh, War Dog. War Dogs with um, Jonah Hill. I thought this was kind of a different uh, Jonah Hill kind of movie uh, from what he normally makes and I enjoyed uh, watching it the first time around. I think I watched it on a streaming service so uh, I wanted to have a physical copy of it. Uh, I'm glad I was able to find the Blu-ray on a good deal. 
Next we have, I believe, is uh, another horror or thriller movie uh, called Devil. Uh, this one looked pretty interesting and um, definitely one that I wanted to own on Blu-ray specifically. So um, be adding that one to the horror shelf. Next, we have another movie um, that I watched and had kind of mixed feelings about uh, as M. Night Shyamalan's The Visit. So when I originally watched this movie, I thought that it was, it was okay. Um, I thought that uh, they put a good amount of humor into it, but I found the little kid that's in this movie to be kind of an annoying personality, kind of annoying character. So um, I like what they're trying to do with the storyline, the plot of this one, um, but wanted to give it another try, give it another shot, see how I feel about it the second time around. Uh, then I picked up uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg's The Other Guys. It's a great movie, great comedy action movie. Um, so this one, it's been a number of years since I watched it, but wanted to take a look at the extended version on the Blu-ray here. Then we have uh, next up Nicolas Cage in Stolen. Uh, not entirely sure if I've seen this one before, but uh, I feel like for me... Um, Nicolas Cage movies are very hit and miss. He's had some good ones and some others that weren't as great. He's come out in a lot of movies, um, so I'll be giving this one a chance. This is one I was very excited about uh, finding in this um, this pickup, this haul. It's uh, Jack Black's Gulliver's Travels. I uh, definitely wanted to have this one on Blu-ray. I've seen this one on DVD before, but wanted to try to find the Blu-ray copy um because i you know came out a while back and i don't know that i've ever actually seen it um so be watching that one probably very soon and then i picked up the uh 20th 5th anniversary of roger rabbit on blu-ray another one i haven't seen but add that one to my family shelf then i found uh mr and mrs smith um i may have already had this one but wanted to make sure i had the blu-ray for it um fun action movie with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, and I uh, wanted to make sure I had the Blu-ray copy. Uh, another one I've been uh, waiting to find uh, for a while on Blu-ray, uh, Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn in Dodgeball, the classic movie you got to have in a comedy collection. Um, haven't watched this one in years. I think I might have even watched this on uh, like VHS originally, if I remember right, but I could be wrong. Um, then found an older movie that uh, Dolly Parton called Straight Talk. Um, haven't heard anything about this movie, but figured I'd give it a chance. Um, then we got the Blu-ray copy of The Monuments Men with uh, George Clooney and Matt Damon. Um, another one I'm not sure if I've seen, but um, love these types of action movies. Some historical context. This one, uh, this next one is one uh, thriller that I'm kind of curious about that I'm not very familiar with, um, Forrest Whitaker and the Experiment. Um, so I'll be giving that one a chance too, seeing if that one's any good. Uh, this was a special find, um, The Fault in Our Stars, the slipcover on Blu-ray. Um, I have the DVD for this and I just watched the DVD with my wife the other night, uh, but wanted to pick up the Blu-ray copy of it because it's a great movie. And uh, this one included uh, what they call the limited edition infinity bracelets. So my wife was happy to have that. Um, it's great to have something like that in kind of a collector's edition of, of that movie. Um, then this is an upgrade for me. I already have the DVD for this movie, but wanted to upgrade to the Blu-ray. It's 28 days later. Um, I plan on getting both the movies in this series, but uh, happy I was able to find the Blu-ray on a good deal. Um, this next one is a sealed copy. Um, it is Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. I started to watch this one on streaming before and a uh, very, uh, you know, slapstick kind of silly movie that um, doesn't take itself seriously at all. And I didn't finish it the first time around, but wanted to give it a chance on Blu-ray. This is another movie that I know nothing about, but it just looked... Uh, Super kind of, you know, random and, and funny. So uh, it's the Slammin' Salmon. Um, I love picking up movies like this that just look kind of random that I know nothing about and just seeing what they're like. The case of this one has a little bit of damage, but still wanted to pick it up. Then last Blu-ray from the haul is um, 
Another kind of movie I picked up that I knew nothing about but wanted to give a chance to, it's a Woody Allen movie, Scenes from a Mall. Um, so I'll be giving that a uh, chance uh, for a comedy, seeing what that one's like. And then last, to finish out the video, I wanted to share the sealed 4K Blu-ray that I found uh, that was only $1 in this haul, and that is A Simple Favor. Um, so this movie I actually saw in the theater. Um, it's kind of a movie that kind of keeps you on edge, keeps you guessing, didn't know what to expect uh, with this, but Anna Kendrick's a great actor and um, probably be giving this one another chance watching it again on the 4K. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end for this haul video. Um, I feel like you got some great deals in there. Uh, the pricing was great, getting 50 cent DVDs, $1 Blu-rays, and the $1 4K is great. Um, this gentleman had some other movies as well, but just um, I've been trying to focus on buying things in the highest format available and not kind of double purchasing movies otherwise. Um, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you watched or enjoyed any of these movies and um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you.